Hey, this is Dion, co-pioneers. In this video, I'll be giving you a brief overview of the two services that I use to run the 24-7 live stream on this channel. Obubble, I use that as the primary server, and Vulture, I use that as the backup server for the 24-7 live stream. Now, if you want more in-depth uh, videos and behind the scenes videos on how the 24-7 live stream uh, works on this channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that join button on the channel's homepage to become a member to see all of those behind the scene videos and that content there. Uh, so for this video, I'm on obubble.com here. And as it says here, it's online, online streams uh, powered by them. And they have these two examples of some popular channels that uh, use their services to run their 24 seven live stream. So you have the bootleg boy here who's uh, at over 4 million subscribers right now. And also sad boys radio 24 seven music live stream and over 100,000 subscribers right now. Both of these uh, use O bubble to run their 24 seven live stream just like I do. So let's look at some of their packages here. And hopefully if you're trying to set something like this up on your channel, um, you can, you know, make a decision based on what we see here. So the first uh, package uh, is the platinum pack plan here. And the, one of the main things that you'll notice on, on this plan, uh, this is the cheapest one. And right now it says coming back soon. So it's actually not available right now. And right now it, they have the monthly fee is $29.99. So the main thing here though is that um, it, it's only recommended for using pictures as a background. So if you're planning on using an animation or some other type of video, uh, this is not the plan that you want to go for. Now this plan also, along with the rest of their plans, does not include a backup server, um, which is why I use Vulture as the backup server. So let's go to the next plan here, which is Sapphire. And if we click on Sapphire, you'll notice there that you can use you know, pictures and videos as backgrounds. Um, you also get access to the overlay library. Um, again, you just get uh, one primary server. There's no backup guarantee. And with all their servers, you get a 99% server uptime guarantee. So that's why you need the backup server because of that 1% chance that the server could go down you don't want the live stream to stop so you can use something like vulture to make up for that one percent so this one right now is at 39.99 a month uh, and this one is doing 720p streaming so this is not bad for like an animation um, if you want to do 720p and save some money this one's a good one to go with but I'm pretty sure the gold plan is the most popular one at 1080p. And that's pretty much the only difference between the Sapphire and the gold, uh, which is the 1080p streaming. You, um, and all of these, you get a, a Windows server pre-installed with it. And you get a few more things here. Um, so you get to stream at 1080p at 30 frames per second. They have the live subscriber counter uh, capability there. You can do pictures and videos as a background and you can choose from uh, some overlay uh, overlays for the stream too if you want. So that's pretty good for uh, animation too and this is the one that I use on the Cold Pioneers channel. Now if you want a little bit more as far as video and you want 1440p streaming that's where the diamond comes in so you know you might want to use that if you're not doing 
animation, maybe you're doing a live video stream 24 seven, or you're doing uh, maybe, or maybe you're looping a, a scene that isn't animation. Maybe it's like a real life scene that you want that 1440p to stream at. This one is a good one to go with. And this one is at $69.99 a month. So, so if you want, if you want to go for that, go right ahead. But uh, on Cold Pioneers, um, I'm using the gold plan right now. And then, as you can see, just like all of them, you get the one server with these plans. So now, that's pretty straightforward. You sign up for it and they'll email you the link they, they have to set up the server so it's not like you just hit purchase and you just get instant access it's nothing like that you got to go through all of these steps to uh kind of sign up for their service but they set the server up it took about a week to set mines up they emailed me the link and i was able to access the server so now for that 1% chance that the server goes down or some other things that could go wrong where you need a backup server to come in, that's where Vulture comes in at. Now, why Vulture? Well, because they don't charge like a set rate. So if we look at Vulture and you pick Cloud Compute, which is the one you want, and let's click on view pricing. So you kind of you see how they kind of break it down by um, two dollars fifty cents a month, or you know so much per hour, based on how much bandwidth that you use. Now this is where a lot of people get confused at um, if they choose Vulture as a backup server or a primary, which I would not recommend vulture as a primary server because um, it's a cloud computer that that does not have a graphics card and it just looks pretty bad <laughs> like when the backup server kicks in on the live stream that I could see the subscribers and the viewers they could tell right away that the the picture looks totally different on it um, but anyway here's the deal here um, these first three you can't really even select anyway because um, Windows Server does not come on these first three. Um, you need at least um, the 55 gig hard drive um, for Windows Server to be installed and you need Windows installed so that you can install OBS on there. So you need a minimum of this 55 gig a cloud computer to install but at the same time the recommended memory for OBS is 4 gigs of RAM so at minimum you're going to have to go with this plan here so again you need the plan that's going to have Windows capability on it which is one of these it has to be above 25 gig and you also need the plan that will be capable of keeping OBS running 24 seven, which the minimum requirement for OBS is four gig. Now you can also stream from a, a program like Streamlabs OBS, and that has so many features um, added to it that you might even need eight gig <laughs> or more if you're planning on streaming uh, with Streamlabs from Vulture as your backup. But for right now, this is the one I'm using, 80 gig um, with the four gig, which is, is basically, that's enough to, to serve as a backup. And it has worked really well, you know, when I had to make some changes on the primary server, or one time OBS just crashed on the primary server on, on OBubble because I had so much stuff going on it. OBS just went down and stopped streaming on the primary. And so then Vulture kicked in and it ran fine for an entire day. 
So this is good enough. The price here, as you can see, $20 a month or, you know, this here per hour. And if I go into my account, as you can see, the backup I had running uh, for a couple days, um, a couple times when I was changing some things on the primary server. So, so far I've incurred $12.92. So this is the benefit of using Vulture as a backup server. I, you know, you don't wanna pay a full amount like you would pay for a primary server, like $50 a month. So if I can get away with just using this backup server just like the one day or two that I used it this month then this is all that it should cost me and wouldn't cost me the full amount as the primary server so again this is just a brief overview over these two servers um, why you would use Obubble as a primary because it has a graphics card it is a real uh, physical server that they're using as opposed to this cloud computer with no graphics card. You don't want to be streaming 24 seven um, with Vulture like that. So again, if you want more in-depth details and videos about the behind the scenes, uh, inside the actual servers and how everything is set up, again, subscribe to the channel, hit the join button to become a member of the channel to see the behind the scenes videos. I hope you like this video and it at least answers some questions about which package to pick. And I will see you in the next video.